SHOT Show 2017 at the VanQuest booth with James. Hey, Stewart. How has it been? Pretty good, pretty good. Things going well? Yes. Good. I've seen you for a year. But, it's uh, been, a, yeah, at least a year, I think. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So it's good to see you again back at SHOT Show. And uh, we've got some new products. You've been working on some other developments over this last year yes. that are about ready to be, well, being revealed and exposed uh, during this week, and then will be available during 2017, correct? Yes. Um, we released two major uh, backpack revisions in 2017, and these backpacks are going to be available in March or April. So the number one backpack that we are debuting is called the Falconer 30. Falconer 30 is kind of like a larger version of the Falconer 27. It's replacing the Falconer 27, in fact. And, uh, and do the numbers refer to capacity? Capacity, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. So now, instead of 27 liters, now it's a 30 liter backpack. Take a look. And on the sides. You should go into a modeling career, James. <laughs> you look like you're on the runway. Now something that I'm noticing here, just yes. turn back around, and it's on all of the bags, but you've got an embroidered rhinoceros logo along with the name. Uh, we'll, we'll go into the zipper pulls. These are interesting zipper pulls. Uh, again, I think the zipper pulls are new. Yeah, um, great uh, observation. The zipper pulls, we, um, those are new. It's injection molded uh, uh, zipper pull. Um, it actually keeps the loop open at all times, so it's easier for you to open that um, for user. To get into the bag itself, to get into the compartments. Yes. And this year we also use a little bit more hypolon material. Uh, it's a very heat and chemical UV resistant material. It's a, it's a rubber material, so it, it offers some grippiness. So when you mount a pouch on it, it's not going to ship. Um, up and down too much. And it's very, very doable, very abrasion resistant. Does that also assist with uh, avoiding the, the pouch torquing or twisting? Exactly, exactly. That's a good uh, uh, way to phrase it. So this bag, uh, let's start with the uh, suspension system. It has a padded waist strap, very, very comfortable, and it's a backpacking style. So you use the pull forward motion to tighten the belt. But once you unbuckle it, this bag, oh, first of all, it has a very, very thick top handle. Yeah. It's about three times thicker than the previous one that we use on uh, any other backpacks. Right. And the Falconer is a three-layer design. So the front layer has two pouches. We make the pouches slightly wider, slightly bigger. And the lower compartment, this one is a medical pouch compartment. So you can see those uh, but, uh, bungee uh, ladders for holding medical supplies. In the top pocket, there's more organization. In the middle compartment, what we did is it's also play open with a lot of uh, hook and loop attachment areas. And these mesh pockets. Oh, that's actually a mesh. Yes, those are actually mesh. So you can see what's in there. It's a very, very doable material, so even if you use a... Uh, yes. You can still see a little bit. But, um, yeah, it's a very doable material, even if you use a um, um, hook and loop material to, to test it. It is not going to fray. And the third layer, this is kind of like our major um, improvement. We actually use hook and loop material like loop field with laser cut channels. So they are fully moly compatible and allow you to mount these uh, re uh, retention straps. And we add more um, hook and loop attachment system here as well. I'll hold that up for you so you can show. <laughs> so, so the straps are attached. Yes. So everything. Under. Yes. There you go. Yes. So everything is um, designed for quick access. Like all the motions that we did earlier is pulled down, pulled down, pulled down uh, to gain uh, access to the inside. I'll go ahead and reattach that for sure. you. Yeah, very good. Sorry. And on the back side, we have a lot of these uh, air channels to improve ventilation.
and the bag is uh, CCW and hydration compatible. And the back side. So this is our Falconer 27. And of course, the, I mean, the uh, belt itself, the uh, Cumberbund type belt is removable as well, oh, yes. it appears. So, yeah. Certainly, yes. If you're not going to use it, you, uh, yeah, you just hook and loop in there. You can easily remove it. Yeah, to, to revert it to more of a casual bag. In other words, this is not permanently attached no. to the to the bag itself, correct? No, it is not. Okay, it is not. very good. Now you also have these pull ring. Yes. I, I have not seen these. Were these from last year? Uh, we actually started using them probably like a couple of years ago. A couple years um, ago, okay. It's made by uh, ITW. So these are called Orbit Zipper Pole. Um, it's a pretty unique rubber material. It's uh, it's kind of elastic, but keeps the, the loop open at all times. Yeah, it's a great material. Like customers love it. Now these zipper pulls. You said that these are are new, correct? Yes. And, and it's got your name new. on them. You designed these? Yes. We actually started drawing um, some uh, zipper pull concepts, and uh, we decided to go with this one because it kind of looked like a, a Spartan helmet. Uh, helmet. Yeah. yeah. So we just call it Spartan Number Eight uh, Zipper Pull because it goes on to zip, uh, Number Eight Zipper uh, uh, Zipper Tracks better than than the traditional. Uh, paracord loops that we use. So we're probably going to use more and more of these uh, zipper poles. Okay, very good. And Another product that I want to show you is the Trident 31. The Trident, the original Trident is a 20, 21 liter backpack and has been our number one seller for for a couple of years, uh, for actually like four years. And uh, this year we decided to make something slightly bigger because customers have been asking for uh, a backpack that they can carry a lot of uh, photography equipment and also for or, uh, better design for air travelers. Or photographers and and be able to carry like one or uh, maybe two three day load um, lo two three days worth of um, uh, supplies. So this is what we offer. It still has that pull forward waist belt mechanism. So you tighten the belt by pulling forward. It's a much smoother uh, action. And once you unbuckle it, you can swing it forward. You still have that familiar high visibility interior. And these dividers are fully removable, adjustable. On the back side, you can put a 17 inch laptop in there. And it's easily accessible yes. on the side zipper as well. It's easily accessible, yes. Along with some pouches down here. Yes, these pockets you can put uh, filters and uh, like small accessories for, for, for photography. And on the side panel, again, we're using more of the uh, high polar material. It's kind of like a UV thermal and temperature stable rubber material. And we use uh, laser cut patterns. So they are still fully uh, moldy compatible, but they look a little bit more sporting good. Um, ish, right? Not not so paramilitary. Exactly, appearance. exactly, and that's what we're trying to um, uh, implement. Right. And on the left side, there's a water bottle holder. Um, if you're not going to use uh, put a water bottle in there, you can use it for moly attachment. But when you need something large, you unbuckle it. Sorry, unzip it, and it expands out fairly well. So then it opens up, it doesn't, the zipper does not completely open the pouch, it just opens it up more for a larger capacity bottle. Exactly. And you can also use it for a tripod, like this. The attachment, uh, the retention core is included. So all you have to do is you just wrap it around the leg of the tripod, and the bottom part is like this. With the width of this, of this pouch, 
you could almost you could probably get a buttstock of a uh, a long weapon in there as well. Yes. And then using, of course, you know, you'd want to run run it up through through the cords first. Exactly. Exactly. And on the inside, hmm. No plan for you. Like I showed you earlier, this this one's my uh, my bag. So I put my laptops in there and my camera in there. So this one is the 31 liter Trident 31. This will be available in April or March. April, April or May or no, March I, or April? I mean, yeah, so, sorry, March. The, March of March, 2017? Yes, okay. March 2017. What would price point be on this one? This one is going to be 199 199 Yes. And, oops, sorry, price point on? Oh, um, not this one, sorry. The other one. For the new Falcon the 30, it's also 199. So right at about 200 dollars. Yes. Very good for these two products. And uh, this year we also have a few more small accessories. This one's called the uh, Hydra. It's a hydration bottle holder. It's fully adjustable to accommodate different sizes of uh, uh, water bottles. So from a one liter Nalgene size bottle. To a clean canteen. You could run that up to like a growler size. Yes, it's basically a one size fits all. All you have to do is we route the uh, bu uh, budget cord and adjust the height of the, the water bottle. This year we also have something called the uh, super lumen glow, uh, glow in the dark pa uh, patches. Let me show you real quick. And these patches are very easily charged. All it takes is probably like a five seconds exposure in the sun. And they can glow for up to eight hours in the dark. With the gradually diminishing yeah, oh glow, yes. of course. Cer certainly, yes. And uh, we offer these patches in like US flags, uh, blood types. And the uh, medical and our little uh, V logos as well. Very nice. So uh, and now, magically, you've got another bag in your hands yeah. and uh, uh, your color coding system. Yes. So what we uh, did this year is we worked with Urban Prepper, uh, clip from from Urban Prepper to uh, conceptualize a color coding system. I think he did a survey probably a couple years back and uh, we identified the top 10 colors for, for prepping. So for example, the red is for first aid, orange is for fire, yellow for communication, and uh, blue for water, green for food, etc. So these are going to have 10 of these uh, Velcro like double-sided Velcro uh, tabs for you to identify, uh, for you to put on like individual patches, uh, pouches for identifying like what is in in each uh, bag. And you can just wrap that around the handle, or maybe even a molly strap. Exactly. And it's got a very fine uh, hook and loop type of uh, texture to it. Very very yes. fine. Yes, that is actually injection molded. Uh, in injection molded. Uh, hook material, so it's it's fine to touch, but it's very very grippy. Yeah, it actually it was it was not easy to open that up. I twisted it around, and once I got it started, it will open up. But uh, that yeah, that was uh, it was it was at first a little difficult to find the seam. Yes, yes. And uh, the entire kit also come with a Morel patch, so we can uh, use it to identify. You know, like so that someone who's not colors. familiar with the color coding could familiarize themselves and educate themselves with the color coding as time goes on. Exactly, exactly. Because that, quite frankly, that's a lot of colors to Different colors, to code right. up and to to, identi to uh, identify with uh, just off the get go for somebody who's not already familiar with them. Exactly. So that, yeah, good good idea. Right. And uh, for those for those uh, anchor tapes, you can also use it on um, zipper pulls as well. For example, this one. It's designed for medical, so we actually put the red uh, tapes around it to indicate, hey, it's a medical uh, compartment. 
but if you want to use it for identify other pouches for other pockets, you can use other um, uh, color tabs as well. For what again? You could use other colors to, to indicate what is what the contents inside. of a particular pouch might be. Exactly. Right. And uh, because certain colors are going to be more commonly used, so we also offer a refill kit. So you're going to have the most popular five colors and two piece per color in here as well. So the, the refill kit comes with two of each color? Co uh, correct. But it, it, uh, it's only the, the top five colors, the ah, first five colors. The most, the most used? Yes. How many uh, strips come in the original packaging? In the original packaging, it's going to be 10 pieces. It's one color per piece. One color per uh, identifier? Yes. Okay. One color per, well, one piece per color. Or and category. And colors. Yeah, yeah. OK. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Sorry. That's okay. Um, and uh, and these are pretty much our 2017 uh, product. Oh, there's are they a, available now? The color coding kit, they are. And the glow in the dark patches, they are available. But for the larger backpacks, the Trident uh, 31 and Falcon 30, they will be available in March. Okay. Very good. Now we also have another bag, but I think you wanted somebody else to discuss that? Yes. Continuing at the VanQuest booth with Alex, how you been, huh? Hey, pleasure again, Stuart. Nice to see you again. Good to see you again. Absolutely. I understand that VanQuest is getting into the racket business. That's correct. Uh, we have the updated version of our Racket 36 uh, covert rifle bag. Uh, for 2017, we've uh, responded to customer requests and some requests from law enforcement about some improvements they'd like to see in the racket, and we've implemented that in the Gen 2 model. So to start off with, uh, we are now moving to a new zipper pull. This is called the Spartan Zipper Pull. It's an over-molded design. It uh, has the Vanquist name on there. And it, it's designed so that you can easily grab onto the zipper pull and pull it open when using gloves. So now to kind of move into the main front compartment here, pull this area open. And what we've done now, based on the customer feedback again, is we went from regular Velcro on the inside to a Molly Air System which is a combination of loop side Velcro that's been laminated onto 1,000 denier Cordura. And then we stitch reinforce every laser cut Molly slot. So then that way it gives it added durability on the inside so that you can also attach any Velcro accessories or attach your traditional Molly pouches on the inside, such as magazine pouches. Moving towards the main compartment, we've also made some additional uh, upgrades on the inside. So I can go ahead and fold this open. And as you can see here, we've added this Velcro panel on the inside so that now you can attach smaller accessories, uh, such as mag pouches or any other uh, cleaning kits. And so that way you can take up any of the voided space that the rifle has. So for instance, a smaller bullpup, you'll have a lot more space for gear. So that you can attach that gear onto this Velcro area and be able to close it and fit more gear on the inside, so you have less wasted space. Also, we've added more uh, retention spots on the uh, Molly here, so then that way you can custom fit the retention loops uh, onto any weapon that you want to carry inside, a bullpup, a folding stock carbine, uh, maybe even like a KSG shotgun, for instance. Um, and also in addition, you still have the padded muzzle cup on the top, which is uh, fully adjustable for height. It has a Velcro backing, so you can adjust it, again, for the weapon length. And that helps to reduce the, the print, if you will, or the print impression, you know, of the, the, the tell, if you want to call it that, of a, of a muzzle while you're carrying it and moving around. Yes, that's correct. Um, and actually, yes, it does reduce the printing of the muzzle end of the rifle, although so the bag itself is fully padded as well. So yeah, that's going to very quickly. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. The padding is, is pretty significant. I I did not see this bag last year because I had to leave. But um, and I think what I was trying to refer to was like the signature print. Yes. So yeah, it just helps with that. Even though there is some pretty significant padding. On that. And of correct. course, it also helps with movement of the, the piece inside the bag. That's correct. Uh, the advantage with this type of pack is that because it does not look like a rifle bag, it looks more like a skateboard or a sporting like tennis racket bag. Right. You have... Uh, and that's retained by hook and loop there yes, as well. That's so that's not going to be moving around. Yeah, it, it's very secured on the inside. Uh, and then for the inside lining, we do use a 210 ripstop uh, lining, uh, which is uh, in the wolf gray color. So that way, when you open up the bag, it's very discreet looking. 
and I just want to kind of move to the back end really quick just to show another new feature on this bag. Now, as you know, uh, it is a fully ambidextrous bag, so you have it set up for left side or right side carry. You can also completely remove the shoulder strap uh, if you want to do hand carry on the uh, grab handles. And what we've also implemented on, on the shoulder strap is this new Hypalon uh, horizontal webbing. Now, it's actually not webbing. It, what it is is Hypalon is a very tough material. Essentially, it's nylon that's been coated in rubber, but the rubber itself is a um, rubber material that is resistant to UV, heat, and chemical. So it actually holds up extremely well and will last for a very long time. Uh, you mentioned it holds yes. up very well against temperature like heat. Yes. What about extreme cold? For extreme cold, that's really no problem at all. Okay. And so, again, this bag is, also comes with the waist strap as well, which you can use uh, to help uh, release some of the weight off your shoulder when you're carrying the bag for a longer period of time. Or if you're going to be exerting yourself, if you're going to be more active, uh, you expect that you might have to run or do some more extreme movement. That's correct, yes, because uh, this bag is designed to move with you instead right. of against you. Because yeah. if you just had this cross shoulder strap only, like you would see with, say, a typical actual skateboard bag yes. without the belt, and if you are in a situation that you expect or if you end up having some extreme activity, this is going to be fly bouncing around like crazy. Whereas if you've got that waist, if you if you have the waist retention as well, that, like you said, it's going to be held against your back. You're not going to have this rifle bag bouncing and banging against you very much. That's correct. Yes, because uh, although the, the shoulder strap is very is fairly wide and very comfortable, uh, if you're going to be running around with it, we would recommend using the waist strap. Right. But the nice thing also is that uh, even with the waist strap attached, uh, like I said, it releases some of the weight off your shoulder. Uh, it stabilizes the bag. Uh, but again, it also moves with you, so in cases where if you have to kneel down, if you need to um, maybe go into a prone position uh, or be able to um, uh, squat down or something like that, the bag itself will basically move with you and, and it's designed to kind of uh, flow with your, your movement. And that is pretty much the Racket 36. Just very quickly, uh, yes. I noticed the zipper on the inside of the, 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 the reverse. Oh, yes. Back side here. Yes. Um, what, what is that? Uh, okay, so again, this is our Spartan zipper pull, and this panel is where you would uh, undo the shoulder strap ah, to okay. reposition it. Right. The nice thing is that the strap on the inside here, I can try to get to this here, it's very tough Velcro. Okay. And so you can basically pull this panel open, and the great thing about this is that you can actually uh, reposition the strap and fine tune the angle based on if you want to carry it left side or right side. Okay. And then we, for added um, retention, we have the strap here, which is then box and X sewn onto the grab handle. So this way you have no problem or don't have to worry at all about the shoulder strap getting loose from this attachment point because it's got two layers of Velcro on this backside and also on the flap. On both sides. That's right. So a great anchor point, mm -hmm. for, especially for something that is uh, adjustable. Yes. So you can adjust the anchor point. In other words, this is the, the anchor point of your strap is not sewn or tagged on. That's you right. can actually adjust it by the Velcro. Or That's the correct. hook and loop. Yeah, or you can completely remove it and then just go hand carry only. Right. So you have that option as well. Beautiful, very similar to the waist. Uh, belt of uh, one of the newer backpacks. That's correct. Okay. Yeah, we've done that as well. And you can do that with this waist belt as well. Does that does this is, is this also removable? Yeah. Oh yes, that's correct. Uh, the waist strap itself is uh, removable. You can actually fine tune it uh, for height as well, depending on your torso length. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. And then we've also updated the buckle on here. Now this is a lighter weight um, Duraflex X Lite buckle. Uh, again, it is still made of the same tough acetyl polymer, also known as Delrin. And it's the same type of polymer that's used to make handgun frames, such as the Glock frames, uh, also used for race car engine mounts. So it's an extremely durable hmm. polymer material, which we use on all of our uh, buckles and D-rings and hardware on all of Vanco's products. Outstanding. All right. Very good. And okay. it's available, uh, these are the prior color schemes? Yes, that's correct. And, and now uh, available in black? That's correct. Uh, we have now the black version available, based on uh, some requests by by customers, but mostly from law enforcement and certain uh, agencies, yeah. they've uh, been requesting for a more discreet looking, well, more of a tactical looking all black version. Right. Uh, we still believe that the two-tone color of the gray and black and also the tan and gray is much more uh, discreet looking because it does not look like a 
uh, doesn't look like a rifle, rifle bag. bag. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, there's a lot of times you don't want it to look like a rifle bag. That's correct. But of course, if you're in marked, uh, you, you know, marked units, what have you, mm -hmm. the all black with exactly. the agency or department label on it is, is going to be the go-to because yes. you want to be able to identify it. That's correct, yeah, because you can also put um, patches on the front here if you need to, like a law enforcement patch or even some other patches that just make it look more like a, a tennis racket bag or a sporting bag than right. a rifle case. Great. Outstanding, Alex. Well, listen, thank you very Actually, much for that update. Thanks again, Stuart. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you. Take care.